Let's talk about roll cages. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Black Flag. Um, if you've been following along, you know that my next mod on the M3 is a roll cage. So what's next? A roll cage. Roll cage. I want to put a roll cage in the E46 M3. And if you haven't been following along, welcome. I'm putting a roll cage in this E46 M3. Um, please subscribe. I'll try not to let you down. So, let's talk about roll cages for a minute. Alright, so there's basically three kinds of roll cages you can get. So I want to spend a little more time today talking about why I'm getting a roll cage and more importantly why I picked the roll cage I did. Alright, so why a roll cage at all? Well, plain and simple, roll cages save lives and that's why race cars have roll cages. And this is going to be a race car so it needs a roll cage. When I was talking over the details of my build with the folks at Bimmer World, they recommended the next mod I make is absolutely a roll cage. If I'm going to be doing more track days, racing, drifting, whatever the case, invest in safety first. So I'm a good listener. I'm listening. Roll cage is next. Now let's talk about why I'm getting a fully welded roll cage. All right, so a four-point roll cage um, is really for more like show cars. Um, it doesn't offer any kind of protection. It doesn't even um, surround the driver. It just goes behind the front seats to really to put a harness in and to look cool. The second kind is a bolt-in roll cage. This is for guys who may not want to commit to fully welding a roll cage in their car. Maybe they want to take, take it out one day, return it to stock. Um, the thing is with a bolt-in roll cage is that most race organizations do not recognize them. You won't pass inspection, you won't be allowed. Uh, now, I don't say that with certainty, but I've looked into a lot of things and that's what I've found. Another reason people opt for the bolt-in roll cage is because of the price. Bolt-in cages are a lot cheaper, um, but again, you got to think about the safety aspect of it and if you're even going to be allowed to race. So then there's the fully welded roll cage. A fully welded roll cage is the safest cage you can buy. Usually the joints are gusseted. Um, they're more reinforced. They're a better cage if you do it right You can't just go to a shop and say put a roll cage in my car But the good shops know exactly what they're doing or you can go the route. I am and Buy Bimmer World's E46 roll cage They've done the job of making sure this thing is fully up to spec. Um, I'll put a link below to that roll cage um, They have done all the homework for you. It meets BMW CCA, FIA, SCCA, NASA, um, all of those race organizations, it meets all their regulations. So they've done all this work for you um, and it just needs to be fabbed. So take it to a fab shop, a good welder, 15, 25 hours later, you've got yourself a roll cage in your car. Um, not including gutting the car, stripping the car, which I'm going to do myself. And we're going to make a video about that. So I'm not going to go into all the details about this roll cage because you can read them online, but um, let me just say that this cage is done right and you can get other shops to make this for you, but this Bimmer World kit is the way I'm going to go. Everything's been cut for this car, designed perfectly, it just needs to be assembled. 
So, um, it's pretty expensive. The welding time is expensive too, and that's why I'm selling some Black Flag merch. Uh, stickers are $2, hats are $25, and keychains are $8. So, help a brother out, man. Let's do this. Let's put a roll cage in this E46 M3. I think that's it. Alright, so in short, I'm putting a fully welded roll cage in this M3. Because, well because I'm building a race car. And a race car needs to have a great roll cage. Serious car requires serious equipment. So I'm saving up all my money, I'm foregoing other mods right now, passing up on track days to save everything I can to put this roll cage in the car. But it's expensive and I'm asking for your help. Honestly, if everyone bought one sticker, one sticker, two dollars a piece, we could put a roll cage in here. So, I'm not asking for much, folks. Help me out. Let's put a roll cage in an M3. Let's make some videos and learn something along the way. All right, so that's what I've got today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you soon.